Hello Capricorn. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the second half of July of 2020 spiritual guidance reading. I've been guided for this reading to use the Animal Spirit Oracle deck by Colette Baron Reed. So dear Lord Spirit Guides and Angels, please bless whichever Capricorn I'm reading for. Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. With clearly defined messages regarding the second half of July of 2020. <coughs> Pardon me. So Capricorn. <coughs> Pardon me. In the center of the circle spread, you guys have the number two, the antelope spirit. Something, some form of decision with the number two, which path should I choose, should I or shouldn't I? By mid-July of 2020, things are going to start to move a little faster, right? Life is speeding up, as the card says. In the thoughts position, you have the wasp spirit energy. So from the 16th, around the 24th of July of 2020, Spirit is saying sometimes life stings, right? There was success in the area of a foundation with number 64, but now it's time to move beyond whatever that pain was and in relation to another or others during the second half of July of 2020, let your light shine. Whatever you are working on, whatever it is that fulfills you day to day, that's starting to speed up. Things are starting to move quickly because you're letting your light shine after difficulty and people see you in the second half of July of 2020. Now in the creative aspects position, Capricorn, you have the whale spirit energy. Trust in the great mystery of what is happening. Should things start to move quickly, let your light shine. What is it you're working towards? Commitment, partnership, contract, a hobby, gift, talent, project, idea. For in your actions position, you have the pig spirit energy. You are or will have the ability in the actions position to use your mind wisely even though things are speeding up spirit saying just trust and go with the flow like the whale spirit energy trust in the great mystery of what transpires when you share who you are in a beautiful way with the world for you will be able to choose wisely as emotionally this Capricorn I'm reading for during this general reading by the end of July of 2020 has the cow spirit, recognizing that the miracles are endless because they chose to go with the flow and trust that they have let go of what was painful and now can move forward in a more clear way with their self, right, in your own journey. <clears throat> so in the subconscious position, you guys have the hummingbird spirit. Beautiful. The advice here day to day in your subconscious is to remind yourself to remain in the here and now. Let your light shine to, out into the world. And as things speed up, trust that miracles are transpiring for you and that you're going to have the strength to use that mind wisely because you're not back there right you're ready for what's coming next during the second half or by the end of july of 2020 capricorn now in your day-to-day -day aspects position you guys have the electric eel spirit day to day you are bringing your ideas to life with number 24 deciding on one or two ideas projects hobbies gifts talent skills financial Locations, number four is about creating a solid foundation and two plus four is six, representing success. So continue to put one foot in front of the other knowing that cause and effect, right? Time and effort will eventually bring your idea from a thought into this physical world. Bring your ideas to life. Trust in the great mystery of prayer as well. 
as things are going to start to speed up and you will be able to take action to use your mind very clearly about forward movement because spirit is like right there with you with the number 15 jumping out at me a new path and spirit is a guiding you with the number five regarding actions as life speeds up and you let go of the wasp spirit pain now in the inner strengths position you guys have the armadillo spirit perfect spot you're going to have the strength to be able to set healthy boundaries with others because of what happened in the past you can now love yourself in a way where you're going to let your light shine sit in the here and now and watch your ideas come to life Remember, the miracles are endless and you will feel as such by the end of July of 2020. If you are single and dating, you're going to feel strong enough to speak your truth about your boundaries as someone may come towards you very quickly and cause that wasp spirit energy. Think things through and this is a message for the collective as well. Let your light shine, but stay in the here and now. Focus on your own ideas and know that you will take action to make the highest, best decisions, be it another person, circumstance, situation, opportunity. So in a three-card spread to my right with the same Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron reed we've got the first couple cards here representing July 16th, going into and through around the 23rd or 24th. We've got the Dove Spirit and the Lion Spirit, finding peace as you are generous with your spirit. Surrender now that, yeah, there's good and bad, there's right and wrong, there's moral from immoral in this world, Capricorn. But Spirit is guiding you to see the big picture as you take your thoughts and you create your truth. Remain loyal to what you love and sing your song. So if you've been thinking about singing, work on different ways to Use technology to film, record, right? Your voice is a big message for someone out there. Okay, so by the week of July 20th of 2020, we have the bat spirit in the beaver spirit. A rebirth is assured as you create a solid foundation. A rebirth is assured as you let your light shine out into those around you and their lives. Trust in the great mystery that you are creating a foundation and will be able to reclaim your power by focusing on the little things, taking your mind off of some big things maybe that were causing negative energy, right? So it's time to say, please take this negative energy of the past away from me and bless me with what I am working on or towards so that I can find success in the second half of July of 2020, Capricorn. By the end of, say, the last week of July of 2020, we do have the frog spirit and the turkey spirit. So someone here is going to be clearing out the clutter. Why? Because you have taken action to follow your mind, think clearly, and receive miracles emotionally. Give thanks to spirit, for you will start to see more clearly who and or what you want to collaborate or connect with and who and or what you do not right? You're creating the next chapter of your life for the second half of 2020. Write an outline. Talk about those boundaries with yourself. Things are going to speed up, but I'm going to speak my truth so that I can avoid this wasp energy that ended up stuck in my thoughts. I'm going to let my light shine, sit in the here and now. Take a leap of faith when the time is right, as I'm going to feel more fearless and bold because I'm recognizing that the miracles of what I am working towards and what is transpiring for me, those ideas that are coming to life are endless. I continue to, I could continue to build on what I enjoy because there is so much I can do with it. So yeah, by the end of July of 2020, we have the turtle and the stag spirit. Slow and steady wins the race. Trust in the magic and take the lead. This is about not waiting around and just hoping spirit's going to have something wonderful happen for you, but actually taking physical action to move into the direction whereby you can let your light shine 
where you can enjoy the here and now and a fresh beginning and use your mind wisely. Speak of your boundaries as miracles transpire. And trust in the great mystery that not only will you be creating something where you can shine and enjoy peace and happiness and success in your life, but where you can simultaneously free yourself from whatever was painful in the past. <clears throat> Pardon me, I've been talking a lot today. So I'm going to clarify these messages by bringing in the Gypsy Oracle deck. I like using this deck because it kind of pinpoints people, places, circumstances, situations, and environments by which we have previously discussed in this circle spread. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please provide clarity, confirmation, and or guidance for Capricorn. Yeah, I felt this. I feel this still in a couple different ways. Things are speeding up, some of you are feeling, by mid-July of 2020 Capricorn. This could be you with the Lord energies rising into a greater position of stability, security, or things of the material. Or things are moving quickly whereby you've got this Lord energy in your life and you're trying to figure out with the number two, should I or shouldn't I move forward with this person? Give yourself some time because we do have the wasp spirit energy or some of you Capricorns may be thinking of what was painful in the past. Therefore, you are fearful of connecting with someone. Okay, this could be self-esteem when it comes to a hobby, a project, gift, talent, skill or business idea. Someone here may be thinking about the abundance or someone who's in a leadership position and hopes that you will receive some form of success or money by mid-July of 2020. Now, in the relationship sector, we have the peacock spirit again. Let your light shine. The peacock sometimes can also be someone who is in their ego, right? That's when we walk in our shadow side and we become a tad bit arrogant. So I feel like someone around you, Capricorn, with the thief energies in the relationship sector, the circle spread, is about figuring out someone who maybe just comes and goes and comes and goes, comes and steals your peace of mind, right? You'll know if what Spirit's talking about, if you come into connection during the second half of July of 2020 with someone who is a tad bit arrogant. Now creatively in your own journey. Trust in the great mystery of your ideas that they will be coming to life. Some of you are hoping to reunite a connection with this Lord energy. Someone in a leadership position. Some of you are wanting to go towards someone in order to receive money. Something in the past stung because you didn't get the money you wanted. And now you're hoping to go back in and unite with someone. Trust. Okay. They're saying if this is business, we can always come up with really, <clears throat> pardon me, good ideas having to do with business and then present them and ask for a raise as many times as you can. Because at some point they will say yes. So in your actions position, use your mind wisely when it comes to connecting now i gotta say this for some of you you may be wanting to reunite with someone because you're thinking about money you may be uh, hoping that you can draw someone in so that you can step into a path of stability this could again be someone who you are job interviewing with or whatever for some of you take action they're saying um to put someone in the friend zone because in the relationship sector, we do have this sly cunning and dishonest behavior. Somebody's wanting to sneak towards another and reunite. But use your mind wisely with a friend. All right. So in the emotional aspects position by the last week of July of 2020, thank goodness. Capricorn, you have the cow spirit energy. You recognize that the miracles are endless in your life, that you don't have to take this opportunity of just a small raise or this opportunity because someone is financially abundant secure and stable uh, you're going to be connecting with other people during the last week of uh, july of 2020 where you are going to meet someone new or receive a different offer so it's like i feel like this capricorn <laughs> i feel a couple things capricorn 
you've been working hard and you wanted a greater amount of pay, but you recognized that it, you need to put maybe some time and effort in is what I'm hearing, a little bit more time and effort. Or for someone here, you want to put the time and effort to connect with a friend to or a person to increase your abundance. And Spirit saying that's what, if you want greater abundance, even though a situation was painful in the past, a conversation is necessary. With a friend, maybe uh, your friend is your boss. And you're wanting to come together and see if you can get greater abundance because maybe in the past you didn't, you couldn't, it didn't work out. So in the subconscious position during the second half of July of 2020, you guys have the hummingbird spirit being in the here and now as you research. Someone who may come quickly or had come quickly and unexpectedly towards you. Someone who kind of sneaks in, takes and leaves. Be in the here and now and observe. But use your mind wisely. If this is having to do with money, research a new idea and present it. Uh, research new offers and opportunities, a project that you could create, a small business on the side, marketing a product. For day to day, someone here is going through a very spiritual transformation. No longer are you the caterpillar crawling on the ground getting stepped on, but instead, through faith, and the great mystery of spirit in your prayers, you are finally bringing some ideas to life. For some of you, you transform through a connection with someone in a leadership position. Things start to happen quickly because you reunited, but use your mind wisely and speak about your boundaries to others. There's definitely temptation here. This is someone who is a test. They are not a life partner, at least at this time. So focus on your ideas and what you want to create for yourself and make sure you are clear with others about your boundaries so that you can manage your time properly, right? Here you are with the room energies, taking time to speak your boundaries with others about sitting in your own space, working on ideas, goals, intentions for yourself. Slowly and steadily as you trust in the magic. And think on your feet. There will You'll discover infinite possibilities. So yeah, you're not stuck or trapped where you're at. Now you can create something, greater abundance, through communications with others. Be clear about your boundaries, what you expect, right? In the area of money, love, friendship. In a three-card summary to my right with the same Gypsy Oracle deck, we've got the first position representing the 16th to around the 24th of July of 2020. There's communication here about an ending. Some of you may have uh, recognized that uh, communication has ended. And someone here was hoping that there would be love. Maybe there will be a connection. But that's where I'm feeling something stings. Someone's coming in for a good time, uh, but something feels bad because someone wants a deeper commitment and there's despair. Someone may be married or someone may find that out about someone and that's what this is about. Someone's being arrogant. They got nothing to lose because they can go home and be with someone. So be careful if this is your situation. Capricorn. There's stubborn energy ending up in the next three weeks after a reunion, I feel, because of sadness. I wanted commitment, partnership, family, children, whatever. I wanted to bring upon myself with the faux energy some form of fortune and stability. There was joyfulness, and now I'm needing to heal. For I am now learning that the lover's energy, when the soldier is with it, that someone is just to love them and leave them. Lies and deceit. Coming to have a good time where you are having to realize misfortune. Some of you, it is a good time to connect. Trust in spirit to guide you into the right path. If they aren't the right one, fine. Move on and have conversations with others for you may meet someone who starts out as a friend by the end of July of 2020 if you're single. 
Here you are waiting, not recognizing that spirit sending someone faithful your way. You're waiting on communication from someone who has energies of falseness. So spirit's helping you with the melancholy energies to just kind of sit and she's kind of looking over at the peacock, right? Their light shines, they're attractive, they're someone when they walk into a room. But the more you serve the situation, the more you feel trapped or stuck. So if you need to reunite with someone for an to take another look, uh, you're going to find that you've been hoping someone will just kind of throw you a bone or a small amount of money. You wanted more maybe, but you're also going to feel strong enough to use your mind clearly and say, I have the death card energies. I'm going to have the strength to bring something to an end if it doesn't serve me. For through conversations, I'm starting to recognize by the end of July of 2020 that the miracles are endless with the cow spirit. I am now traveling into the direction of gift energies. Kind words, offers, opportunities. So let's clarify by bringing in the Gilded Tarot deck, shall we? All right, so I'm going to bring in the Gilded Tarot deck so that we can confirm the astrological signs and or elements of whom by which Capricorn will be dealing with during the second half of July of 2020. All right, so we have the Queen of Cups. Listen to your intuition or you will be. Capricorn, by the middle of July of 2020. Or this is you with the Queen of Cups energies, listening to your intuition. I feel like there's an older gentleman. These people might be two years apart from another. You guys may be connected, Capricorn, with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. She's looking at you trying to listen to her intuition. Maybe you are doing the same and you're mirroring each other. And things start to move quickly. Uh, for some of you, you've been working on something and listening to your intuition and an offer or opportunity shows up. You may receive a money offer, but it isn't exactly what you wanted or you were hoping to come into connection with someone whereby you'd receive greater abundance, that your wishes could come true. That's what you want in your thoughts. But sometimes life stings. Remember, we don't want to come into a connection focused only on things of the material or financial, right? Someone here is walking with energies of their ego in the relationship sector and are wanting to sneak away from their current uh, person. Wow. I feel like someone is indecisive about you. Capricorn or vice versa. So the advice here is to create a way to come together and reunite, to trust in the great mystery of whatever will be, will be. Knowing that spirit is bringing you the major arcana of the chariot, that even though you, even though you don't know which way a connection is or a reunion is going to turn out, spirit's going to guide you towards success no matter what. Some of you may be traveling to reunite with someone. Or you're traveling to connect with someone and your wishes are coming true in the area of money. Things are happening very quickly because you let your light shine. You can now leave behind an old path and trust. I think financially that this new direction is where you're going to meet up with a new friend. Interesting. So this could just be a friend, a co-worker in a new direction. Use your mind wisely. Now, huh. The Wheel of Fortune energy is in your actions position. There is, that means this is a very karmic time, right? Bad decisions will move that wheel backwards and you'll be repeating old painful situations for another 10 years. But if you make the highest best decision, the Wheel of Fortune will turn in your favor. As you communicate with others during the second half, especially by the end of July of 2020, Capricorn, you start to recognize that the miracles are endless, that you can give birth to whatever you so choose, especially with the high, with the empress, empress here as a major arcana. She's helping you to manifest communication, recognizing that the miracles are endless in this world. 
One connection may have been great, but if there's indecision, trust in the great mystery that spirit is trying to guide you into. A path whereby you can give birth to new communication. Someone here is researching maybe a job subconsciously or researching indecision regarding someone who may have earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or someone whereby they want to receive more money. If you have a conversation with someone, know that the miracles are endless. As you listen to your intuition, also give birth to new ideas of success, knowing in your thoughts that there will be success, even though in the past things didn't work out. For subconsciously, you're receiving the Six of Wands energies. After researching and sitting in the here and now, some form of offer or opportunity or two show up in the relationship sector to another or others. Some of you may have to decide between one financial project, opportunity, path or person and another during the second half of July of 2020. So day to day, you are transforming with the Butterfly Energies Capricorn. Your ideas are coming to life, and someone is coming towards you to give you positive feedback, kind words and messages. I feel like this is when it comes to what you're working on, what you're giving birth to in the area of success. Someone here has realized what they're putting their time and effort into. They're listening to their intuition. They're coming together, uniting or reuniting with others and are looking at an opportunity. Should I or shouldn't I? Is it right? Is it wrong? Is it moral from immoral? Uh, some of you are going to meet a friend as you take action to move into a new direction. Just remember, you're going to have the strength to speak your truth about your boundaries. You're going to have the strength to sit in a room, to turn towards that table and to really focus on your own financial independence. Ooh. So someone may be looking to another in hopes that there will be financial offer or opportunity, but Spirit's saying, yeah, connect with them and then turn around and uh, connect with others as well. See uh, what's on offer in this world for you. For now is the time of new beginnings, especially with the new moon in Cancer around the 20th of July of 2020. Somebody's trying to see if a connection will be successful or not. Wishes are coming true because of what you're giving birth to. Just be careful if, a, if there's a karmic situation in connection to another. Is it right or wrong? Because Spirit's saying, use your mind wisely. Take some time to think. Speak about your boundaries. Focus on your own success. Right now, someone could give birth to a very successful offer or opportunity, which brings to you some form of gift or award or recognition. Beautiful Capricorn. So what are you manifesting? What does victory mean to you? You may be hoping for an offer or opportunity in the area of money, but someone in the past didn't give you what you wanted, and now you're crying over spilt milk, but Spirit's saying we're giving you the death energy, the strength to go through a transformation, to speak your truth, and to uh, bring something to an end if you so choose. Yeah, Spirit's freeing you from old illusions, helping you to recognize with the Nine of Wands energies. I did put a lot of time and effort into something, but it is now in indeed time to research uh, different directions, for there will come some form of offer or opportunity with the Six of Pentacles, and that will help for me to now sleep at night, because a wish is coming true, maybe around... Hmm... The week of the 20th of 2020. Yeah. Someone here is looking at something they put a lot of time and effort into. And Spirit sending the temperance angel to say, hey, it's time to create a new path. It's time to come up with new ideas. It's time to find balance in your life. Some of you may be very tempted, again, by maybe an earth sign like yourself, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. There may be a temptation for a new offer or opportunity that you're giving birth to because of conversations with others. And now you're feeling stuck or trapped because of someone who's large and in charge. 
by the week of the 20th of July of 2020. But the Eight of Swords is a figment of your imagination. It is not your reality. The reality is, is you want to walk away from something that no longer fulfills you, but you're sitting here in energies of poverty, conscious, sadness, and depression. So Spirit's saying, look how far you've come. Give yourself a pat on the back. Spirit wants to bring you the Ten of Cups energies of a happily ever after in a new direction regarding creativity, finance, career. Let your light shine. Step into the portal of a new beginning for an offer could come very quickly and swiftly regarding a new path which is going to put you a little bit deep in thought. But by the last week of July of 2020, Capricorn, you're recognizing that your efforts are paying off. The time and effort you put in is now opening a doorway, and you're trying to figure out how do I go away from this person who's in a leadership position and make a, a decision to go into a new direction. Pay attention, the High Priestess, especially in the last week of July of 2020, Capricorn is going to be giving you signs and synchronicities regarding your efforts with the Three of Wands energies. You're recognizing that your ship is coming in, an offer or opportunity. For some of you, this may have to do with someone who has cancer in their chart, Pisces or Scorpio, but an offer nonetheless that is going to be successful. Uh, for some of you, you are recognizing that through your efforts, you have manifested a wish come true. For some of you, you may be connecting with someone who is a very kind, patient, loving, supportive person, be it in a leadership position or they have water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Wow. Wishes are coming true in the area of passion, that's for sure. It's almost like I can give birth to any conversation I so choose and I know that the miracles are endless. That I am the boss now and I get to decide if someone goes in the friend zone or if I am going to make uh, the right karmic decision for I have the pig spirit energies in my actions position to use my mind wisely. To take some time to speak my truth with others because I'll feel strong enough to do so. And then sit in my own space for a while, focusing on the wishes I'm making come true for myself in the area of money and stability. Somebody's getting recognition and attention here. Research that offer or opportunity. Watch for those who should not be trusted. Let go of what was painful. For you are now being guided to unite with someone through conversations whereby you're going to transform into a, a greater path of independence. Confusion regarding money, heartache, looking at things from every perspective, putting a lot of effort in, waiting for the results, leaving troubled waters behind, coming into a shocking realization for some that someone is not the right one, but that a new path is successful and it's time for that chapter. It's time to get clear about what you're creating for yourself. Wishes are going to come true passionately, but you're really being guided to just let someone give you attention, but focus on your stability first. And this is kind of the same for the collective or a majority of them. So I'm going to close by pulling one card from the Archangel deck by Doreen Virtue. Okay, I had a couple cards jump. No, too many. Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. Should these messages have resonated for you? And of course, uh, they cover a, a, a number of people during these general readings. Feel free to write me for a personal reading at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer a one-month, three-month, six-month, and yearly reading. And my price list will be in the box below this video. I'm also offering the Summer Special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. Closing message for... This Capricorn, please. Overall message for the Capricorn during the second half of July of 2020. So we got some action and some emotion here. Pretty much what I was feeling. Trust in the great mystery. For an offer will come as you transform in the second half of July of 2020. So we have the messenger of action energy here for you. The card says something new and exciting related to creativity or career comes to your attention. 
You'll feel an eagerness to learn and you're ready to get going, although you may feel a tad bit insecure. Everything's happening very quickly, right? Life is speeding up with the antelope energy. Do it anyway. For as you unite or reunite with someone creatively or others, trust in the great mystery that spirit is guiding you to success. Some of you, it may be through a friend where you come up with an idea or you receive ideas as to how to we turn the wheel of fortune in your favor. Through conversations, you can now recognize that you can give birth to whatever success you so choose. So do it anyway. Do not hold back in the second half of July, especially towards the end of July of 2020. This card represents someone in your life or maybe you who is creative, enthusiastic, and fascinated by life who wants to try everything. So some of you may meet a good friend and as you move forward in some form of or with some form of successful idea, as you use your mind wisely, it's through conversations with a friend, which could be a new friend, um, that you can finally give birth to Miracles of abundance, right? Look at on the bottom of this deck, the Ten of Pentacles, a light at the end of the tunnel. It's a time to follow your heart. Don't forget to take care of yourself, most importantly. All right, I could go on and on. So thank you so much to those of you whom have liked, shared, and subscribed. Thank you so very much to, the, to those of you whom have let me know that these messages are resonating for you in the comment section. That helps me a lot. Thank you to those of you who have donated to keep the channel up and running. Take care and God.